Okay, what's going on everybody? My name is Mang. And I'm Lego. And today on Two Brothers Play, we are going to be playing Chrono Trigger. Hypo! Yeah. I, I mean, it took us a while to even think that this was possible. It's true. It didn't come into our heads until recently. But one of the things that we heavily agreed on growing up was our love for RPGs. Yeah. Especially the SNES era where we really bonded. Uh, and one of the greatest classic RPGs of all time is Chrono Trigger. It's pretty amazing because I was watching a retrospective on it mm -hmm. and a review on it. And basically what the team went through to make this, it's just incredible. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you can tell the Japanese just destroyed their own lives to mm -hmm. create these things where they put their soul into it, you know? Yeah. A lot of classic RPGs have really interesting stories behind them. Uh, even like Secret of Evermore, yeah. which was a Western RPG that, that Square Enix just sort of pawned on them. Yes. That is a really interesting story. Maybe we'll get to that game at some point. But, yeah, Chrono Trigger. Um, we're going to be playing it simultaneously, our own separate games. And it's not really a race. No. Because it's like, if one of us gets to the end boss, we're not going to just beat it and then sit there. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, we'll do other things. There are side quests, which helps um for whoever's ahead correct but we are trying to complete it in as quick a manner as we can yep so minimized on grinding we're going to be skipping dialogue we'll explain the plot and i mean stuff. i'm no speedrunner, but i hope that we can do this within six hours in That's that pretty quick that is pretty quick i'm not a speed runner you know what i'm saying so it's just mm -hmm. it's gonna be one of those things where i can i can i keep up with that uh, with meng yeah um, we've both beaten the game. I, I've beaten it multiple times. I'm sure you have not. Maybe, I've, maybe a long time ago you beat it. It's, it's, it's got to have been over 15 years ago that I played this, that I beat it. Okay. So, I definitely have an advantage of knowledge, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Yep. So, let's begin. Uh... You can choose between active or wait, depending on if you want the really traditional turn-based or more of like the active time battle. Yeah. I think for me personally, uh, we're, we're all too opposite of what you do. <laughs> I always go with active. Then I'll go with wait. Now you can always switch it up later. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. Usually you don't take that much time to decide, but no. it's Final Fantasy VI has like active time battles. So I'm used Correct. to that. Um, and I just go with Chrono. I don't know if you go with anything special. Nope. The audio... If this were like, um... Uh, a GDQ event with a, an actual race, we would switch the audio between who's ever in the lead. But for simplicity, simplicity's sake, it's my channel. Yep. I'm probably gonna be in the lead. You never know, yep. but... For now, at least, we're sticking with my audio. Yep. When, Maybe next video we'll switch to your or yep. what I don't know. When Kelly and I do single player VR games side by side, I just switch whoever's in first if it's like a story game or something like that. It just works out better that way. But mm -hmm. for simplicity, simplicity, simplicity's sake, when we stream, I just cut hers out and do mine. Mm -hmm. So you play as a, a boy named Chrono, teenager, I guess. In the year 1000 AD, I believe yep. is the number, <laughs> and it is the morning of the local celebration. The Millennial the Fair. Millennial Fair, yes, because it is the year 1000. It's a big, it's a big, big thing. Yeah. And you get to name your friend, your inventor friend. Go with Luca. So. Here, if you talk to your mom again, you get your allowance of 200 bucks. Make sure you pet your cat. And, uh, head to the fair. Always gotta pet the kitty. Yep. Now, the fair is pretty cool. When I was a kid, I really liked this place. I spent a lot of time here. I agree. Um, there was a bunch of things you can do. Uh, mini games and stuff you can play. But, truth be told, if you do want to beat the game as quickly as possible, you don't need to do anything but bump into this girl. Correct. 
Of course, because I'm a goober and I always have to make sure that I'm the most considerate to people. You got to talk to her first. Yeah. So a lot of things you do here at the fair determine an event later on in the game when you actually get arrested and you are put on trial. And so one of the verdicts, one of the jurors that decides between guilty or non-guilty for you is based on whether you talk to her before you pick up the pendant. <laughs> yeah. Because if you don't, it just means your eyes were immediately drawn to this jewelry. Yup, you're just this greedy. I gotta find the kitty. Come on, kitty, let's go back to your owner. I gotta, I gotta do the best on... I gotta get the best. I'm innocent, I tell you. I'm already innocent. Yeah. Not that it matters. I mean, sometimes it's better off to see the cutscenes with, uh... With you actually getting to being guilty. <laughs> yeah. So all you really have to do to progress is bump into the girl and then go south and talk to the person on the fountain who tells you that the Luca's invention should be ready for a demonstration. Uh, anything else you do just affects that event later on or is for your own amusement. Oh, you want to buy it for me? Sure. By the way. No. No, no, no. I'm already behind because I'm some sort of completionist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? I already talked to... No, you gotta talk to the girl on the fountain. That's what I said. Oh. Yeah, because she says it should be ready by now. Okay. There we go. Which is really weird because I always thought it was just talking to Melkor. No, I don't think that's actually necessary. Really? But it I, I did it as well, but I don't think it's necessary. All right, so Luca and her dad are inventors, and they've invented a teleportation system, which is pretty incredible for the year 1000 AD. Yeah. It also affects if you pull her away from that candy thing. Yes, it does, yeah. So after you test it out, um, the girl, Marley, uh, of course, wants to try it out for herself because she's got <laughs> spunk. So 1080, we're basically saying that they didn't have the Dark Ages here. <laughs> um, well, they did have the Dark Ages. Yeah, they did, we're you're right. There. They didn't have the Dark Ages like we had no, our Dark different, Ages. different time scale. <laughs> well, it's like Final Fantasy. So, unlike... Chrono, Marley's test does not go as well. And that's because of a reaction from the pendant that she's wearing. Which opens up a portal. Through time. Through time! Oh wow, that was great. Do you believe I've never done a Let's Play of Chrono Trigger? <laughs> I... Of all the you know it was really funny, but I was like I was telling everyone in our di my Discord, I was just like, all right guys, these are the these are the SNES RPGs that you must play in life. Yeah, like you, it helps you with street cred. Oh yeah, <laughs> gamer street cred. I mean, I've played the game plenty, but I've never done a let's play. So. The story of this game is just so great. That was what really yeah set it apart was that it was such a unique story that did time travel really well and interesting without being hokey and... Well, what was really cool is they... They started you out with the fair so that you could play around with some things and kind of get to learn the battle mechanics because they do yeah. have an area where you can do the tutorial. But yeah. you, know, I, you don't need to do that anymore. No. But, and you can get, like, tokens and everything like that, which is really cool. But, um... What's cool is that... They already immediately are getting you into the time travel and the action. Oh yeah, it jumps right into right it. Right into it. it. Awesome. And then if but if you wanted to, you could play some games first. Yeah, it's not like three hours where you're in 1000 AD, yep. you're fighting goblins and stuff. It's like, nope, you're already on this life-changing adventure back four hundred years. To the year six hundred AD. She, Luke already knows. I've seen her, she's familiar somewhere. <laughs> Where you are attacked by, by goblins. That's true. But, still. Actually, these are blue imps. So here's the battle system of Chrono Trigger. Uh, 
we have it with ATB. So, much like Final Fantasy VI, you got your gauge up there in the upper right. Once it's filled, you can do an action. I'm gonna speed up the battle speed. You can speed that up, can't you, in this? Mm, yeah, you might be right. That would help. I'm probably gonna speed that up. Um, so you got your basic attack, you got your items, of course, and then you have techniques. Mm -hmm. Which uh, are your abilities. You can get all sorts of different abilities. Uh, Chrono starts with Cyclone. Actually, I don't even have it yet. What don't other RPG do you know of that they implemented where you could have one person's attacks affect someone else's attacks? And you can kind of do combos where you're doing two at the same time. You know Retro what I'm saying? Retro RPGs? No, any RPGs. Tell me any RPG oh, that you know. modern RPGs. Which yeah. ones? Like the Divinity games. You can combine different battle effects from different characters okay. and, and in a more freeform way than this. Okay. But yeah, Chrono Trigger has a really cool battle system. Like, I, oh. it, 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 it was so... Like, I, I just wish that there would have been other RPGs where they utilized... You know, you know how, how the ATB system was a little more prevalent in RPGs in general over the, over the years? Uh, where kind of you you built up the time battle as it went along and you were well, able to yeah yeah but they never did that with like comboing attacks and things like that as well as much no not really and it, it's so one what, of my what he's referring to if you haven't played chrono trigger is that there are solo techniques which yes. one character you know like right, right here i do cyclone it's just chrono doing it and Man. it's also based on the space. Look at that. You can yeah, hit three or lot, two or right, one. Depending on you, how the enemies are arranged, you can hit different enemies. Some some abilities affect a line. Some are circles. All sorts of stuff. Um, so you have solo techniques, and then you have dual techniques, where two characters with sort of uh, abilities that interact with one another. So like Luca, spoiler, later on gets the ability to throw fire. So you can do fire cyclone where she throws fire onto your cyclone and it does more damage, and that consumes both characters' turns. Then there are triple techniques, which are really powerful that involve your whole team all at once. And later on, we'll get to customize our party setup and pick which characters we want to play with. And every character combination has their own dual techniques yeah. and triple techniques. And that's really awesome. It's so, it's so cool because you're able to just pick your characters based on kind of how you want who you want to play in right you know what i'm saying like and that i guarantee that we will end up with different setups yep even if we didn't communicate we'll I mean, probably the, end up there with is different setups. there is sort of a meta of what the best characters and and things no, are is, what is it i have no idea but i just know that there is one there are there's a set of people that is the characters that are most do you effective. like playing the game with chrono um I do. Because you don't need to beat the game with Chrono in your party. Wow. You don't even need to go get well, him well, after. No, no, don't ruin it. <laughs> if people haven't played it, don't ruin it. Well, okay. There are catastrophic events in this game, just yes. like every RPG. Yes, but Chrono but it, is not necessary. Right. And yeah. so it's kind of like uh, Final Fantasy X in that way. Yeah. Where you can play through most of the game without Titus. Which some people would prefer. Yeah. Chrono uh, is completely mute. And also, I died. Not paying attention? Not paying attention. So I think I have to start the game over. <laughs> That's okay. You'll catch up to me. Yeah. Now I have to catch up. Shit. But now I'm ahead. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Plus, I'm going to die. I don't want to die. This is uh, make sure you use a tonic. <laughs> right around this point, you'll want to use a tonic. This is true. That's okay. Uh, so the other thing that you're gonna want to make sure to get. Okay, let me use my let me use my tonic. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The the other things that you really want to pick up are the tabs. Yes. Yeah. Tabs. tabs are essential. So there are items, limited items in the game that increase your character stats. Those are pretty important to find if you know where they all are. I can't remember. Does it affect if you grab one in the past? Does it change it in the future? Not make it. Or is it two different ones? Mm, no, that's only in Final Fantasy VI. Okay. 
that's okay. I think this is still the necessary. You're still gonna catch up to me. That's why I said I'm trying to finish within six hours. Yeah, no, hours. This, this works out. This gives you a bit of an advantage for right now. On one power tab. There you go. Oh, I should have spent my 200 bucks. Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. So we're set. Hold on. I want to just wait. I want to go to the market. <laughs> buy some more tonic. You buy more tonic. Yeah. Well, they're, they're 10 gold each. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Might as well. Well, and I wanted to pick up the iron blade. Uh, actually, I don't remember. I don't think you need it. Uh, but I'll equip the armor, which will make my my life a whole lot more convenient to be able to use less tonics. I think that was the one thing that was that I missed out of this game is they didn't have a equip equip optimum equipment. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's. But there isn't. Usually, it's just like one upgrade to one up. You know, there's not as much. That's true. Like, yeah, I don't know. It, it, I didn't ever felt it was necessary. No, I agree. It's, there's not that much. Equipment. The equipment doesn't doesn't come like fast and furious or anything. No, it's just like you find Titan arm. And it's like okay, that's an upgrade. I'll equip it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. I do agree, though, that I'm glad that all the characters do seem to be great in this game. You're not like, uh, uh, Gao. <laughs> True, yeah. I do despise Gao, yeah. That's just one of the worst things that they implemented in Final Fantasy VI. You, you get this, oh, it's a new character. I remember the first time, I was like, I get this new character. Oh, Gao, oh, he can work monster skills. Oh, this is so great. Well, yeah, and there's also Umaro and Gogo. Those are great characters, though. They're not great characters. They're fun to play with, and they're like, oh, that's interesting. But they're not, like, developed or anything. No, I agree. Whereas this game does not have that many characters. It's like that's true. Seven? Yeah, it's not many. Uh, but they're all pretty interesting and, you know, more fleshed out than something yep. like I, the Final story, Fantasy yep. VI. Mm -hmm. But I still like the fact that they did that with six. They have all... Those characters, and they always try. They tried to implement. They interact the stories. You know, uh, do the stories together. Where yeah. they all, you know, there was a point to all of them. Yeah. Not just you. You meet Jim. Jim is here to help you save the world for no reason. Well, no, kind of like Gao. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the point of Gao was. Well, like his dad, like abandoned him or something in the belt, and then he. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I grew up with monsters, and... You're right, I don't know why he would care about saving the world or anything, <laughs> but sure. You gave him meat. Yeah, you gave him meat. Okay, there we go. Alright, full health. You're catching up to me. <laughs> I'm still having through this forest. Well, I could die again. I... Did. It's not, it's not easy. You, you can't make the wrong moves here with your not. I'm used to power leveling and grinding a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah. So that I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I can fight this boss without having to worry about this or this or this. You and know, typically can... that's also what I like, but I have done low level challenges. So I'm somewhat familiar with the idea. I, I watched a playthrough, it was four and a half, five hours, something like that. And it was like, didn't do any grinding, just straight through, you know, and just... And that, these games are generally designed to not need grinding. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not a well-made game. <laughs> That's true. Okay, let me save here again now. I don't know, I think I'm just gonna keep saving in case. I should have said I couldn't. <laughs> I was so cocky and I was talking about techniques and stuff and, oh man. Show us your stamp collection, kid, and I'll beat it, shrimp. Is it Queen Lean? Right, so there's a queen here in this time period, 600 AD, that uh, completely resembles Marley, the girl we met at the fair. <laughs> so the plot thickens. <laughs> um, hey. Hey. Let's I talk. Can, isn't there a... Oh, she lost her coral pen. Oh, please rest in the knight's quarters downstairs to the left. Wait a minute. Hmm. Oh, oh the chancellor. Let's see what he was. He's, he's following him. No, I don't want to follow him. Yeah, actually, I guess. I can give a little story. Battle message speed. I did fast on everything. Plus, then I can get these treasure chests. 
Yep, okay, there he is. Hmm. Why are you talking to the Chancellor? Oh, he's just suspicious. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> You're, you've got an advantage here. Don't squander it. I, yeah, I'm definitely squandering my advantage for the sake of a little story. But there are some cool things that you can do in this game. It's best not to pass it up. Well, if this were a casual playthrough, I would agree. Oh, but, fair enough. You know. We do want to finish somewhat around the same time. That's true. Generally. Okay. Cool, I took a snooze. Did you even have to take a snooze? Why would you have to take a snooze? The king was like, take a snooze. I was like, okay. Is that just, did he really mean just like, fuck off? <laughs> I, I take sort of- Take a snooze, kid. I sort of wonder. I don't think he actually meant, oh, you take a snooze. But I don't remember, because I haven't played this game in a while. Yeah. All right, here we are. Queen wants to speak privately with Krona. Come nearer, sir. Yep. And it's revealed that it is not a queen, it's Marley. Yep. Who just happens to look like the queen. I'm so relieved you're here. Ha, oh, me too. Oh, that's because I'm the hero. He is the hero. And I... I, I don't love that. I don't really love ever a silent protagonist. Yep, they were they were really split on whether to do a silent protagonist. Because it's like, Terra is pretty much the main character of FF6. But! And her dialogue, like, imagine if Terra was silent. True. Oh, that game would be worse. So she just disappeared and we have to figure out why. She literally just... Yeah. She poof, did. She gone. did disappear. But so, no I mean, obviously I could wander around, and I could basically... Oh, here it is. Luke is here. Yeah, somehow Luca managed to follow us. <laughs> she doesn't have a pendant! She doesn't have, she doesn't have a pendant, but she's a genius. She so. is a genius, so there you go. And she basically figures out the plot pretty quickly. She's a member of their royal family in our time. She's Princess Nadia. Yeah, there Marley's you go. Marley's real name is Princess Nadia. Um, and then they explain how this works. Right. So basically, Marley is the great. Queen Lean is Marley's great, 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 great grandmother. Yeah. So in this time period, right at this time. The real queen Great gets, grandmother, yep. gets kidnapped by whatever. Uh, we'll find out. And they call off the search because they find Marley in the woods, who suddenly appeared. Uh, and they think that, okay, it's the queen, she's here. Um, but that has serious repercussions for the timeline because then the real queen is never rescued. And of course, Marley would never be born. I like what they, I like how they did time travel in this. That's game. just a good, good, solid, cool original plot. I mean, this is a time when time travel was still acceptable to do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, good. Now at least I have her, so this is good. So now I have two people. I can save again. God damn it! You are just pushing your luck, man. I am pushing it. All right. Which is really cool about Luca is she starts out automatically getting flame toss. Right. Yeah. So Luca. But it's not really a magic. Flame toss. No, isn't. it's sort of a technology thing, but it's all just techniques. They don't really. Correct. Differentiate, but she does eventually get magic fire. Yeah. Um, but she also has a fucking gun, which is awesome. That's pretty cool for a uh, thousand eighty. Yeah. That's a special time. Oh, I wasn't supposed to click on that. It's looking for the... Sh I, want a, I want another shelter. You get free shelters every time you come in here and click on that. And shelters are expensive. Shelters are expensive. Plus then they... Since we're not grinding... Yeah, you need every, every single... Every resource is yeah, important. Yeah, it's like I have to find every single treasure chest just to be... 
I mean, I, they're flame toss. There it is, dual technique, yeah, fire world. Fire world, yeah. Which is really cool that in this early in the game, you actually get something called, like, fire uh, a world. dual technique, yeah, 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 yeah. There it is, monster drop the shelter, and I have two. Need a little bit more. Try not to grind, just trying to get all the way through. Mm hmm and you can skip some of those with careful pathing. That's, yeah. that's the other really nice thing. There are no random encounters in this mm -hmm. game. Uh, everything is preset and predetermined based on uh, character positions. <laughs> yeah, I was watching, I was watching a Breath of Fire, Breath of Fire one, no commentary playthrough, and their careful usage of marble threes was just incredible. Yeah, they grinded just enough to make it through. Yeah, you know, oh, and speed runs will utilize like RNG manipulation and stuff. Uh, it's crazy. So I guess, I mean, I could wander around town, but I think that it's important we just keep this going. So all the tips eventually lead you to the cathedral. Yep. Where and then you find some creepy nuns. Creepy nuns. There you go. And then you were able to find this here. Which is the, uh, her hairpin. Yep. And then the creepy nuns all gather and then turn into Nagas? Naga Ets. Naga Ets. Okay. I need to do. I'm gonna need Flame World. Start with a Fire World. Interesting. I, I'm gonna need it's that. A subpar strat, cause now you're slowed. Ooh, hoo hoo. I know. Free. But you still have a solid advantage. You haven't made any real fuck ups. I still haven't say. Plus, I'm also on weight. Can I get three? Oh, that's true. You can you can position things. Yep. But on active, you can wait for them to move a little true. bit. True. But you can just you can just go out of the menu. It's only yeah, when you're yeah, in those it's menus. Only when you're in the menus. Which is really nice. There we go. Good. And we don't claim to be really experts of this game. No, we're not. We don't know everything there is to know or. All, where all the items are automatically. I mean, I was only half paying attention to the no commentary speed run of this. Mm -hmm. Just because I went, wanted to get a refresher on it. I was watching here and there. Wow. It was incredible how fast he was going, though. I mean, well, they, they, I was at they, work and I was like, I gotta do something here over here. And I come back and he's already... They play the game over and over. Like, every day they do a run of Chrono Trigger. It's crazy. <laughs> I've never felt like I loved a game enough to do it, to do a speed run. I, I just can't imagine. Yeah. Props to them, but I can't do it. Pretty incredible, the the skills that they get to be able to just do some of these odd glitches or combinations. Yeah, they practice hours. And here right. we are introduced to another new character. One of the best. I, yeah, probably the best. Of course, I was in the commentary that I was watching. He, they were like, um, the retrospective is like, his his dialogue, like, why does he speak like that? Yeah, when no one else in this time period does. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> kind of messed up a little bit there. I think it's because he just has like this antiquated notion of what a knight should be, and so he just cosplays really but he, i mean he is a badass yeah so he's allowed to okay cool all right let's keep cruising right, now so that's how you get through the forest without a fight you actually did it without a fight yeah i've done that um careful path in there not too careful you are a legit speedrunner this is gonna be rough for me to keep up with me speedrunner this is gonna be rough for me to keep up with you uh, I don't know where to go. Um... Well, my memory gets less and less the further we go in the game. Sure, of course. I don't remember how much I need to do. Dude, ether. I don't have fire whirl. I don't have flame toss. Naga and bromide. I don't know if that's just a hidden thing. There are so many little things that I remember from the game, though. Yeah. I did tinker around, so... Ah, well, Fire World. Perfect. There we go. Take this out. 
That one's a long fight, actually. You gave you really caught up to me when I had to fight that. Yeah. Especially with all the slow spells. Okay, let's use some. I I'm glad I grabbed tonics. Really, I'm I'm just not confident. When you had fire whirl. I think two fire whirls mm -hmm. kills them. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. And you rested, so you had full MP. Steel saber. I think steel sabers for no, it's for me. Right, so I'm glad I didn't buy the upgrade iron sword. Do this. Right, go in here. Humans. Okay, hiding the queens in the back. Power tab. I kind of sit on the power tabs a little bit till I figure out who I want to use. I usually just dump everything on Chrono, but. Since you're liable to have Chrono in your party at the end, maybe I won't. Yeah. No, I see what you're saying. You're going to pick a little bit opposite of me. Yeah. Your Chrono's going to die again. He might, yeah. <laughs> Not going to be easy. You kind of have to <laughs> take a little care in what you're doing, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I want to save. Because I, I wanted to catch up. <laughs> I don't think I have a third shelter, so I can only use two... Shelter. So I'm kind of trying to plan a little bit ahead of how I want to use my MP because if you yeah, I'm probably blow it gonna... too early on just going through this and you have no shelters, it really screws me out. I'm and probably going to go battle. to the inn after this. Yeah, because it's like if you wipe to a boss, it just sets you back. It does. 200 gold. Okay, well, at least money won't be a problem then. And I don't want to miss the items. No, like I said, it's important. Alright, so, uh, this is Frog. Uh, he cares deeply about the Queen. He's, he's like a classic knight, but he's a talking frog. And so he's sort of an ostracized... I think he sort of ostracized himself, to be honest. Yep. From the rest of the kingdom. Yep. Uh, he lives in, like, the forest to the south. Uh, but he's going to help us out because we have the same goal. Rescue the queen. I think I want to blow it right here. Fire whirl, I think. I hit them all. Nice. Here we go. Here we go. I'm just going to pop by the inn real quick. There as quick go. as I can. Just That's... Get, mostly just to get full MP for Chrono. Tech points are... Not as important until you get magic. Once you get magic, tech points are pretty essential. Yeah, the highest ability you can get for Chrono for a while is Slash, which is pretty good. And I know you have grinded in this forest. Get Slash. Yep. Um, there is a third shelter. Perfect. But yeah, once you get magic, it actually automatically bumps you up to that spot, doesn't it? It bumps you up to lightning. E yes. So, <laughs> it's sort of not necessary. Uh, combo. I think we'll blow it. Might as well use the extra MP. I'm just trying to get through this as fast as possible. While that's, still... That's what we're doing, baby. Yeah. And Fire Whirl, Flame Whirl is just so good. So, uh, Frog starts with Slurp, which is a small healing ability. You can use it in combat, but you can also use it out of combat, mm -hmm. so that's nice. You can save some tonics. That's why I kind of use the MP from my other characters. Yeah. And Frog uh, is just a generally powerful melee character. And he gets a dual technique with Chrono called X Slash. Cro X yes. Slash? Yes, where they both. Yeah, which is really cross nice. I think it's Cross Slash? Is it Cross? No. <laughs> One of the two really good though they cross each other in an x as a slash you really want to have it, it for the boss here yeah that helps a lot fire whirl again let's use it on those two or those three wipe them out i don't know I, this is this is a dead end i think and then i guess i could just attack these guys with this but since i have a lot of tonics and they're really cheap yeah, it's are. almost like why would you waste MP on healing? 
I mean, in in combat, it's the bigger heal, obviously, but mm -hmm. you kind of want to conserve your MP. I mean, when your attack does 25 and Fire World does, oh, there it is, X Strike, and Fire World does like 150. <laughs> I can't remember what the Bromide does. I I honestly don't know. And so I don't know if I want to grab it and do that fight. I did just because. <laughs> Because I did. Yeah. Here it is. Iron sword. Okay. Good. Well, you're 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 grinding more than I am. Well, I I kind of don't want to lose to the boss. Yes. Come on. It's playing. He's playing music. So that the so the thing. Are happen. you planning on using frog? I like frog. I really like frog. And Chrono and F frog have some really okay. good combos. Then that's. Then I'll put the power tab on Luca. Because I always tend to use Luca. So I'm gonna use her regardless. I'm wondering, who am I gonna use? I don't know. I'm I wanna see I wanna remember what all the characters do again. You know what I'm saying? I wanna yeah, start yeah. going through and be like, oh yeah, they get that and they get that. Okay, I still don't know Fire World. I mean, Robo's good. Yeah. They're all good. Yeah. Um Chrono Isla is one of the most, like, OP combos yes. for a while. And there we go. Good, got past them. Save. Um, do I... I can't remember, is is there more after this? No, nope, that's the boss. Is it the boss? Then I want to use my shelters now. Oh, shelter works on all three of them. Oh, that's yeah, so like a great. Oh, perfect. Okay, I think we got our X strike. I think we're good to go. This is it. Yep. Now I got fire one. Good. Frog. One one nice well timed flame fire whirl and it's over. <laughs> oh, have you getting time? No. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I know. Which is funny because clearly it should. Yeah, clearly it should. But yeah, you can see how powerful Fire World is. Oh, here it Cyclone. is. He's changing the first boss. So uh -huh. it's revealed that the Chancellor of the Kingdom kidnapped the Queen. And he's Yakra. He's actually a monster in disguise. Um... I'm not sure why he kidnapped. Uh, did he kidnap the queen to fuck with the timeline? No, I, I don't know why. I don't, he, he doesn't know about that. No, I don't know why he kidnaps the queen. I think he's trying just trying to take over the kingdom. Yeah, that might be it. So here I'm gonna have Luca do the healing, and I'm gonna have Luca heal, and I'm gonna have these guys keep doing cross slash X strike. There we go. Too close, can't counterattack. Nice. Tonic. I'll just keep them healed. Let's keep an X strike. Should have waited for that. Should have yeah. waited for that. I don't want to skip every fight because I'm not doing a low level run here. No, no, that's why it's kind of trying, trying to balance out. But I'm trying to catch up. Oh, please, 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 please. Get it, get it. Do tonic, tonic, tonic. Three. Oh, 39. You can't mess up too much. No. Oh. Let's get a good X strike off there. Too close, can't counterattack. Pound him with another X strike. It's really, it's really nice having fast battle. Yep, I got X strike as well. Okay, heal him. I think one more X strike should be all I need. Here we go. Pow. No, no, another one. You want more? He's tougher than you'd think. Here you go. Come on. There it is. Got him. Oh, nice. Uh, I haven't failed yet. I'm still ahead. Yeah, he's still ahead. <laughs> but can you do the race? Oh, uh, I I'm pretty good at the race actually. Yeah, yeah once you know what to do, it's yeah. Crazy. You have to wait for that last thing, last and then moment. you then you boost it. But it, the timing has to be pretty good. As long as you know what to do. I mean, to be clear, I've played this game quite a bit in the last 20 years, but I've only beat it like once. 
Yeah, so the late game stuff. Yes. You might be a little questionable on. Correct. Mid ether, ether. Okay, let's go. Perfect. Back to the castle. All right. This is pretty. So, cool, but here's the thing: we cool. must create a criminal justice system in this in this kingdom to do away with such fiends that kidnap the queen. See how that works out? They didn't have a criminal justice system. Well, that's what's so weird. But I think they. Ex I think what they're hinting at here is because of this, you've changed the timeline now, so that in the future, when you consider kidnapping Queen Nad Princess Nadia. They punish you heavily. But they always rescued the queen in the original timeline. Yes, but it seems like because you went back and changed the timeline, now they... that The Chancellor in your time... Yeah, here, you'll see. I'll, I'll talk about it when we get to it. All right, she popped back. She's back in existence. We changed. We reverted the timeline. Yep. But, uh, of course, I, it seems like we've still altered the timeline because Frog feels like he failed. So we have inadvertently still altered the timeline. You why, know what I'm saying? Why does he feel like he failed? He walked away saying, you know, alas, you know, I, I wasn't there to save you right away. It was almost too late. So he felt like he failed. Oh, because normally they would have found her sooner? Yes. Yeah, I guess I can see that. Well, that's the cool thing about time travel, man. Chrono, you wouldn't have shown me the fair, right? Wrong. All right. Basically, what I said was, even if I had known that she was Princess Nadia, I still would have treated her like an actual person. Human being, yeah. Yeah, a human being, not just some royalty. It reminds me of the start of Breath of Fire 2, where you could ask a similar question by your... Yes. Or whatever, and they like fucked up the translation or something. Yeah, so you have so to it doesn't pick matter. The other one. Yeah, you have to basically like insult your dad. <laughs> Otherwise, it seems like you're insulting. Yeah, I don't know. Here, here's where he explains it. Here, my fault, which endangered the queen. I shall depart for good. The. I mean, you don't know that that's a difference in the time. But you're, the fact that you're even here changes the timeline. Yes. That's my point. My point is that he's just said I'm going to depart for good. Well, <laughs> well yeah, but you don't know oh, what true. happens to him in the normal timeline. True. All right. So it's my time. boss fight. Excellent. I'm going to grab one more while I'm over here. Another shelter. Good to get these shelters while you're here. Perfect. I don't think there's any other power tabs here or anything. No, there's the coin or whatever, but I don't think that's now. That's later. You're catching up to me really fast. Whew. Not really. I still feel like I'm the same distance behind. Next strike's pretty powerful. It's the way to go. And as a kid, I always thought that, like, it did more damage the more perfect the X. Yes, that's funny. <laughs> now that would have been cool. Yeah, like if it was a perfect X, it did the max damage. Whereas if it's just like two kind like of this. parallel lines, yeah, <laughs> that's not too great. But no, that's not how it works. All right, so now we're going to go back. Take her back with us. Return you to your timeline. I think we have Luca, who in 10 minutes figured out how to get there yep. and then and also make a key. Get back, yeah. And <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Although, it's time travel, so she could have taken a month to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. And then still just come back to right... You're you know, right! right when you were there. That's true! Yeah. Luca died. Rip! But all you need is X-Strike, man. But you're gonna have to heal yourself now in between. You think I need to heal? You think I need to heal when I got X Strike? Maybe not. Especially because he's too close, he can't counterattack now. All I can do is die. That's true. 
But it's good that I got a couple extra levels on you now, too, so I can... It's a long game, man. Don't sweat it. Well, I don't want to... I don't want to die. <laughs> yeah, that was a big mistake on my part. Please call me Marley. There we go. Got our key. I was so disappointed that Chrono Cross didn't turn out to be a better game. It was a good game. Do you want it to just be like a sequel? A, a 3D sequel would have been great. I, I, I have to admit, if they would have said, oh, well, you know, we kind of played off the... T but yes. they went they went with Dimensions. And it has almost nothing to do with Chrono. Yeah, Trigger. nothing to do with it. But it was still a cool game. I That's should, another I really, game. I really that, should play it at some point. That could be a game we side by side. Well, the problem is it's probably long. And Very neither long. of us know anything about it. I know nothing Whereas about this, it. Whereas this, we can burn through. Correct. That's the benefit. It's good music in this game. One of the best. I mean, it's, I could listen to just this soundtrack, soundtrack straight through. Just put it on in the background and then you're good to go. A lot of these SNES RPGs, one of the highlights. I think Nintendo was a little too soon with the soundtrack. You know, you can't really, you can't really delve. Like, I like, unless it's a remaster or they, they did like an orchest orchestral of it or something like that. I feel like Super Nintendo, you can actually listen to the music. You understand what I'm saying? Just as it is. When was the last time you put in an OST of a, of a Nintendo game? Oh, NES? Yes, NES. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's iffy. I mean, like. Mega Man 2, maybe. I listened to a few tracks. That's decent music. For sure. But even like Castlevania. Uh, Castlevania 2 has Bloody Tears, which is one of the best songs. Okay. Probably across the entire NES library. There you go. But, I mean, it's been remixed. And it's been better remixed. See, I heard you were abducted. We had soldiers searching for you. And this is the Chancellor that's saying this. I think you might be reading a bit too much into it. No, no, listen, listen, scoundrel, you're the one who was kidnapping Princess Nadia. Terrorist, he calls me a terrorist. I mean, you can't prove that this wouldn't have happened in the original timeline. True, that's true. But it's I mean, a cool you really theory, think that they have guns and teleportation devices and they didn't have a criminal justice system? No, I didn't say- Is that say what you're saying? No, 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 no. That seems to be what you're saying. No, but from the dialogue, it made it sound like, what he made it sound like is that we need to really, truly punish to the fullest degree people that- Oh, anyone that fucks with the nobility? Yes. That, yes. That could that's, be- That's right. Even though you're innocent here, you can become innocent. And he's like, oh yeah, we're going to execute you. Oh, spoiler. <laughs> But yeah, basically, it doesn't matter if but I... Why if I, would the the Chancellor... Is the Chancellor in this time related? No, I don't think he's related, like, but if you would have, if you wrote down notes like, Oh, I really screwed up today in 500 AD. Let me tell you what happened. He kidnapped the Queen. The real Chancellor didn't. I thought it... Oh, no, you're right. There was a fake chance. God damn it. That's what happens when you... Fire, perhaps? I mean, hang him upside down for a year years? Man, like, they're just already ready to throw it at me. And like, jeez. Okay, I, I could see your argument that they are... That it doesn't matter what I do. Extra strict on anyone that fucks with the, the royalty. Premeditated of abduction of royalty. The question is, did he kidnap Princess Nadia? The answer, no. In no fact, no abduction put, took place. Yes, this is true. Okay, here it is. So here's here's how it is. Uh, who actually started this whole mess? So I don't think this one matters too much. But then you no, could say- you don't wanna say Marley did. Yeah, I'm just gonna say I did. Just as I suspected, he deliberately tried. That's okay, you have to concede this one. Yeah. Because otherwise he calls you a liar and says you ran into her. We have a witness that says you ran right. into her. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here it is now. Here's my character is in the very core of this case. We have nothing to hide. 
We have a witness, a little girl who will vouch for the character of the defendants. Yeah! Crone was a good guy. I wanna, I wanna become, I, I just, I just wanna be not innocent. Yeah, I this mean. My, nice man, he be, brought me my kitty. To, to be clear, it does not change a single no. thing. No. Um, because the Chancellor wants you executed either way. Yep. Um, so even if every juror says that you are not guilty, he still is like, no, fuck it. But he does it behind the king's back. Yes, that's true. So this is really his just like personal vendetta. And then because I didn't eat the food and I didn't do any of those other things like steal people's lunch or anything like that, right. my character is impeccable. So they're resting on basically, yeah, he'd be his innocent stand of the right. So most people, I think I'll lose like one or two. I, I remember there being a, I thought there was a way to get it perfect, but yeah, I can't can remember how. Perfect. But I think I'm still going to lose one or two of the jurors here. I just can't remember what you need to do to get perfect. So close to the load sword. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Four. Okay, we're stacking them up pretty. Stack it. Keep going. Keep, keep going. Keep going. There we go. Look at that. Five. Give me, make it six. Yes. Keep going. Bought the load sword. 4,000. You actually bought that? Yep. That's gonna make you a lot faster. I'm gonna kick ass. There it is. Perfect. Yeah. I. That's why I thought you were gonna get perfect. Because you did the things you said and you didn't do the things you said. Um, you don't have to do much. See, I'm not guilty, but I'm still stuck in three days solitary confinement for running off with her. Yeah. And uh, Marley tries to argue against this, but King isn't having it. Yep. Behave like a princess. Oof. But he doesn't know that the Chancellor's planning to execute you. Yeah. Which I can actually escape, or I can right. wait to be. So there are two options then. Once you're in your cell, if you just wait it out and do nothing, you will. Well, what? Which one are you gonna do? I'm gonna do the escape because it's faster. And I still think you'll catch up to me. There is a benefit to the other one, though. There's a benefit to. <sighs> I can't remember that there was a benefit. If you escape, you have to do all the battles. Oh, otherwise, Luca will do them all. Right. If you wait to get executed, Luca rescues you at the last second, and she has knocked out all the guards. That's true. Um, um, so it's pro con though, if you want to do the battles or not. I'm gonna do the battles so then I get extra experience. But I think I think it's a little bit faster if you wait. I because... don't actually know what speedrunners do. Neither do I. I think they probably escape because you can do it pretty immediately. The other benefit is now that I have the sympathizer is they give me. How much do they give me? One ether. Save here. So, in the in the in the for the sake of just showing as much as possible, I think I'll. You don't wait it out. I'll wait it out. I, I'm because I'm curious to see if you actually close the gap between me. Yeah, that might be interesting. Okay, here we go. The one thing I didn't understand is, so here it is. Let, watch this. Here it is. Okay, so he comes in here, slashes at me. Yeah. Okay, like I should be dead now. Right. There, and now he turns around, yep. and I have my sword. <laughs> yeah. I mean... They could... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's okay. They didn't want to do this thing where... What they should have done is you just, like, knock him out with a rock. Yes. And then your sword's just, like, outside in the... Yep, in, in a the, chest or something like right, that. Right, and that would have made more sense. There it is. HP and MP recovered. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, so I'm definitely not going to get a perfect non-guilty verdict uh because i didn't help out the cat but i should still be not guilty because i didn't do anything i didn't I, do anything <laughs> i i'm just wondering if i should i feel like you're really gonna capture you're really gonna catch up to me i don't know i don't know because i have to go through the extra dialogue as well oh i should have had him first there we go okay that's true you can knock him out like that and then he passed out and then you would click on him Oh, I thought you got... You should be able to get tonics. tonics. Yeah. yeah. 
I think that's only the later ones. But I wanted these items here. Mid tonic. Yep. yep. Mid tonic. Alright, so I had one guilty, so I'm still not guilty. But you really have to screw up. Yep, yeah, you have to eat the food, not rescue the cat, try and convince her to uh, sell her pendant to Melchior, yep. um, and say that she started it. I want to kill this Omnicrone. Better off if I just hit him. I was wasting my tech point, uh, my uh, MP. Oh, you'll need it. You'll need it. There is one tech point. This guy is just a waste of time. Yeah, okay, they that's don't fine. don't pay him enough. How does he even know I escaped? You're already closing the gap. Like, I still have to go. Can I go around here? You have to... No, I have it's to. It's a pixel perfect to go right in between. I don't know if it's pixel perfect, but you can walk right in between them. Okay. And then automatically it changed on him. Shoot. 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 Come on. Come on, hit him. Good, got him. Good, got him. I think... Do I want some extra items? Unfortunately, I feel like I'm stuck getting some extra items. Not too many, but... I want to grab the items from here, because... I won't fight the extra monsters. I'll kind of just... Dodge as many as possible. That's... I don't need that. What is this? Can I go in here? No, because you need to climb down on that one. Just trying to remember the the way that you have to get through this, you know? Yeah. Prisoner's escaping, okay. You are going to blow past me because in because Luke is but you still have to escape, don't you? Or no? I have to do the boss fight, yeah. Yeah. That's that doesn't change. But don't you still have to run through part of this area? You don't just go right to the boss. No, you don't go right to the boss. But you do get Luca then to run around with. Correct. Thankfully the time flies really fast. Yeah, the, it's not like earthbound or some shit where you have to wait for three minutes. Okay, so here I am. Okay, so here it is. I'm gonna He's run watching it. Watching you. Got him. Plus, then I can get people get to see this. You know what I'm saying? There it is. Mid tonic. Well, that, that's another cool thing with this whole setup is Here it you is. can I'm do different it. things in games. And then people get to see all sorts of stuff. What are you up to now? Yeah, I'll just kill him fast. But it was cool that they gave you this options in this game. Yep. Plus, then I should be able to. Well, if you, if you couldn't think to rattle the the bars. Oh, this is where you start, isn't it? Yeah, I'm I'm up there. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't really matter. But I wanted to free this. You, you get to free, free this guy. guy. You get a discount at a shop later on. Get out of here, buddy. Come on. Manga's catching up to me <laughs> really fast. Well, you're doing a lot. You're 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 definitely much more well equipped than I am, as far as resources well, yeah, and levels true. and stuff. Just want to grab this. I don't want anything else. We no! Fight the skeletons! Yes, I should have just done a cyclone. Whereas I don't have to. Oh. See? But I still get that uh, chest. See, now you have Luca now. Yep, I have Luca. <laughs> and we're pretty much in the same spot. Yeah! Then. We literally caught up to me. Uh, except you have a few more items. Correct. But, since you knocked those guys out, you didn't get the XP for them. True. I only knocked two? Two out? I think. Two. One I had to fight. These guys, I'll never... Can I not get this chest? There we go. I'll never get this guy. Got him! Yeah! But he gives me a mid tonic! Yeah, none of these give anything. Okay, go up here. Mid tonic. So then I need to go, I want I want a little extra, so you did catch up to me. That was pretty fast. Then you get some rockin' music. Sort of caught up to you. I think if I go down here, then I can climb down. I'm trying to find the climb down path. Why? I, you don't even know what you get. I do, you get a nice sword. Which oh, you blew on, nice you blew on load stone. Hit tonic. 
No, I don't want that. Okay. Big tonic? You just crushed everything. Alright, let's see if I can do it. I used to be able to do it. There we go. You are just gonna blow past <laughs> me in this game. Come on, turn, buddy. Make sure we're all good, we're all good. Alright, you get a whole bunch of mid-tonics. Yep, which are really helpful for this fight. Yep. Because this guy clobbers you. Alright, so the boss for this section is the Dragon Tank. Correct. Which, yeah, can be pretty dangerous if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. There's only- oh, there was a shelter. Okay, there was a shelter, and then if you go down here... Come on, go down. You get this, these two chests, and these two chests should be good. 1,500 gold pieces, and then a load zone. Oh, you get the load sword. Which, as you said, was four, 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 four grand. 4,000. So that was 5,500 gold just for going down here. Yeah, if the race doesn't matter to you. No, well, I'm hoping that you're... I'm hoping that I'm gonna be... That I'll eventually have to do have other to do things. something. <laughs> I'll have to do something. Something. You can't just burn through it and crush everything. But it is nice that I have this load sword now. I really needed that. And then I also got the bronze mail. Which is good. And I have to quickly... I'm just gonna go up here real quick. So the dragon tank consists of three parts. The head, the wheels, and the body. The head heals, so you want to take care of that as soon as possible. But yeah, if you want to be faster, it's pretty obvious that getting just waiting the three days is the best way to go. It's not really fair, though. You you did a lot of other stuff. And True. You, were, you were ahead of me, but... Oh, Luca died. You're gonna have some issues here, buddy. I might have issues, yeah. I might die. I can't do enough damage to the head to kill it. I should have fire world. Yep. That does more damage single target. I've come to save you. See, and now she oh, it looks like you didn't need my help after all. Perfect. I still want... Cast out, mid-tonic. Maze, you're gonna find five of them. Great, okay. Uh, I, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go through it because I actually got an extra shelter and I have five. I'm just gonna blow the shelter and make sure I'm maxed out because I don't want to fail. The trial. Good. You're gonna have some serious issues. You're gonna be a long fight for you. You think you're that much more powerful than I am? Uh, I don't know. Let me show you. This is gonna be. I should have healed. Now I'm a little fucked. Ooh, now you're really screwed. <laughs> now I'm a little fucked. Oh, oh right. rip. Evening it up again, my second death, because I'm pushing it so hard. And I'm not an expert. No, I... Alright. I I should have fireworld from the get-go. Yep. Here we go, I'll show you how it's done. Plus, look at my health. 135, 127. I am just decked. <laughs> okay, let's do that. There we go. Yeah, here we go. Now we're talking. Does it hit all three? It doesn't hit all three. Yes, it does. No. Oh, you have to hit the head separately? You can't. You can't do fire damage on the head, uh, maybe? Let me think. Okay, then just do... I don't have slash. Then Let's I have to I just hit cyclone. it. Cyclone. Okay, then I'm just going to go ahead. 120. And I'll tonic. Okay. Does that work? It does, if you're curious. It's just immune to fire damage. Okay. That's okay, because I hit 120 on the head anyway, so it's a waste of... Yeah, but I'm doing damage to the other shit. True. I mean, it heals it, but still. Yeah, you're, you're, you're just fine. You're gonna finish before me, I think. 
Depends on if I get greedy or not. I'm not sure. I need to make sure that I keep healing. The wheels are gonna fuck me, so... Mm-hmm. Oh, and I didn't pick up the tonics this time. Uh, okay. Ooh, a crit. Yep, 244 crit hit. That's a that's a difference maker. There we go. He's dead there. Now let me use a... I, I don't want to use my mid tonics. I think I'm just going to use my tonics. Let's kill the Get grinder it. next. Oh, I can use the fire whirl. Oh, I got a crit. 24. Let's use tonic He's on. He's healing a lot, man. Yeah, he is. And you got another crit. Oh, if you hit the tank, he runs you over. Okay, makes sense. That hurts. I better not screw this up. Oof. Alright, I'm gonna be- I'm gonna not gonna be greedy, I'm gonna do a double heal. And then I'm gonna do a fire whirl. Fuck! Is there a difference between fire whirl and cyclone, you think? Or do they do the same damage? No, they- fire whirl does more damage. I'm gonna just go with a cyclone then. Because then she is going to heal herself. The, the tank running you over does a lot of damage. Yeah. That's gonna be close. It's a challenging fight early on. Yeah, if you don't do any grinding and you're just doing. There it is, killed that. Alright. Give me the heal. Nice. I think I got this. Just gonna attack, and then he's gonna run me over. Then I'll heal... I think I'll heal Luca. Mm, no, I wanna heal... Chrono now. Could use a double heal. Crit hit, nice. Crime done. There yeah. it is. Alright, awesome. Then you get this cool cinematic! Yeah! I mean, that's just so cool. I mean, it's it's so great. Like it's such a dramatic scene, and then they come out, and then they just oh, add this comedy. God damn it, man! <laughs> oh no! Oh, cause Luca keeps fucking dying. You have use your mid tonics. Oh, thanks, thanks. No, I have you used any mid tonics yet? Yeah, I used all of them. Oh man, holy crap! Fuck, man. There we go, that helps. That'll help. Princess That'll Nadia. Help. Okay, that should help. Whew. It's a hard fight, it really is. Uh, yeah, I don't think Cyclone is worth it at the start. No, I think, in fact, sometimes if I were you, I'd just double up on the tonics. It takes extra time though. And that's the thing, I'm just like hoping for crits and just finish off this head real quick so I can flame fire whirl. Yeah, it's just rough. Uh oh. Oh, oh damn it. Now I misclick. And I get a crit that's just gonna be healed. Brilliant. I pick up anything that's called common sense. Oh! I despise you, I'm leaving. Oh, yeah, typical teen years. After them. Princess Nadia. There they are, don't lose them. Why wouldn't we just run to the left? Why would we box ourselves into the forest? There's no escape. Okay. Alright, see you later. See you later. I'm gonna go through this portal here. Oh ho! Yeah, so for whatever reason, there's a portal in the forest, much like a the gate. one yeah. that uh, sent you back in time. And she's like, let's take it! <laughs> we don't know where it'll take us. But anywhere is better than here. No, this place stinks anyway. I don't anyway. know if that's really true. <laughs> this is completely irrational. <laughs> Hurry, Chrono. And then you're just left, what what decision is there to make, right? I mean, the story doesn't progress until you go in here. Yeah. <laughs> and then it, this is great. They added the anim- I'm, The facial yeah, animation, I, yeah. I was so it's great. It's like one of my favorite things. Yeah. 
so ridiculous. But yeah, with the uh, the arts, the graphic style, there's a lot of room for expression. Yeah. Compared to like FF five or six or something. It's just a great game. They have these big sprites. Yeah. Civilies. Okay, cool. Now we're in the future. Yeah. You go to the year 2300 AD. All right, let's go down here to this. What is this called? This is called Trandom. Trandom. Okay. I don't want to talk to any of these guys really, but I want to talk to this, um weapons like guns okay. and swords. So he, they're basically hinting that you need magic. Uh, full sleep. Okay, there we go. Yes. So I can basically get free sleep. And they're kind of, it's, they're kenting at basically a kingdom, what are you talking about? They're basically talking about how... There's no food. There's no food. Yeah. Is there any, there's nobody here to sell stuff? Yeah, there's a vendor. Oh, move. Wait, move. How do I... Am I doing something wrong? Am I doing something wrong? I don't know what you're talking about. Look at me. What are you trying to do? Walk. Move up. Move down. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How did you get stuck? What? what? How is that possible? I don't know. I can't save either. Hey, let's just look at this. Okay. No! It's too far. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Tell me! What is going on? This is a glitch! Yeah, I think it's possibly because we don't have diagonals. Did you notice that? You can't move diagonally? Yeah. Yeah, I think you might need to move diagonally. Um, so I might have to pause and sort this out. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Okay. Or at least allow me to add in. Okay, back in business. Oh, I got it! Yeah. There we go. <laughs> you yeah. made me stuck there for like two minutes. I'm just like... Did not purpose to hold him up. That's what it is. At least I go diag diagonally now. Yeah, that's gonna be really good. <laughs> that was pissing me off. Because my character would just freeze. He'd be like yep, down, yep. up. Okay. Well, not, you were not sending any inputs. Okay, let's see. I don't really want to fight stuff here, to be honest. Come on. Yeah, so the Stolatonic. future is just sort of this wasteland, ruin, no food, no real civilization. True. Um, and there's evidence that there was really advanced technology, which would make sense, because even in 1000 AD, we have guns and teleportation <laughs> yeah, and stuff. Right. Um, but the question is, what happened? What happened in this timeline that caused this? Yeah, it's and you'll so find dystopian. Out. You'll find out. Oh, he heals. I forgot that. I don't even know. Nice crit shot. Octopod. Okay. <laughs> Their use of monsters is always... Oh, yeah. But you know what I really liked about this game is it seems like there was a big... There was a lot of diverse enemies. It wasn't just using the same skins. Yeah. Common problem with the Dragon Quest games. Just reusing the same skins, changing the color. Yeah. This one, every time period had its own unique enemies. Load sword. Got another load sword. Stole tonic. Just keep stealing all my tonics. Keep stealing my tonics. Load, Load bow. bow. Perfect. That's what you want. Big upgrade. It's nice to have as much po firepower as possible. And I don't want to fight too many monsters, because these monsters... This. This is a good fight. Is I, want, I want to do the choice fights where I can do Fire Whirl or they something like that. They do that uh, Volcano ability They do, but watch. I can sucks. take out four in a row. There we go. Oh, I clicked on it, damn it! I was watching your fight. 
That's the ability. It hurts, dude. No, oh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just gonna hurt me. Because I'm level three. I wanna get this. I just there's just there are, there are certain fights that I want to do just for the massive amounts of experience that they're gonna give. You know what I'm saying? You say so. Well, since I'm not grinding, I kind of have to. You are grinding. No, I'm that not. That was a grind. If you do a fight, you don't have to do. That's a grind. She look aura whirl. Okay. Who you need aura whirl? You don't need it, but it's good. True. Oh, here's where the only uh. These monsters, only magic or elements affects them. So I'm stuck waiting to do Fire Whirl. There it is, all three. Otherwise, Flame Toss would work. I think they consider Slash an element. Yeah, it's like Wind Element or, or something. Yes. Perfect. Okay, let's keep going on now. I think if you go through top, you don't have to. Thought you went through top, you don't have to fight them. Top, you don't have to fight them. No. Bottom? 300. Oof. It's gonna take a while to. Oh, crit hit. There it is. But once again, you're always catching up to me, even though you're wiping several yeah, times. I know, man. <laughs> I'm trying. Imagine if I hadn't died ever. I know. If you would have pulled off all, you would be so far ahead. It'd be great. You'd be racing already. Probably. Hypno wave. Perfect. I want to get all the items. Back to back crits with Marley. I like oh, that. I'm not trying to grind. I actually, I don't know if it's Marley or Marl. I think it actually is like Marl or something. Flame Fire Whirl. Okay, let's do this. Did they say that in your retrospective? No, I don't remember actually. Okay. Did you get a lot of XP from this fight? Do you remember how much you got? Which one? The one you did, the big one. Oh, yeah, I did. I got five tech points too. Fuck. And you can't slip through there. Gotta fight these guys. I mean, you could prove that you could blast through. Oh, you couldn't slip through, or you could. You no, I decided to do it. I mean, you can fight minimum amounts of enemies and still get good time. I think, because I mean, even if you speed run, you still need. I was watching this. This the speed. You still have to fight some things. You yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> there are mandatory fights. Then there are fights that I think just give enough experience to keep you going. There we go, got him. It takes two. <laughs> it takes two. That's right. Alright, here we are. Now we're at the Eris Dome. Perfect. You don't need to go into the Eris Dome, do you? Yeah, you have to go get the seed. Oh, that's right. Who are you? Oh, that's right. There you are. People who cross the ruins. I should have saved. Should have saved. Okay, let's see. Who, who's who got the... Who's got the... Alright, I'll use this. Oh, there is it. Okay, good. I could have sworn you could just do Cyclone, but maybe not. Yes. Maybe Cyclone's just pure no, physical. No, physical. Oh, you already tested that. <laughs> Still hungry. Okay, then let's heal. There we go. Let's be on the ruins. Perfect. Now let's grab some... This is a shitty fight. Dynamite won't point. budget. Uh, yes. No, stop. Who's got the who's the who's the who sells the items? Isn't it the? I don't know. I don't remember. Guy on the left. What I thought. All the way on the left. Yeah, all the way. Down here, I think. Yeah. Maybe her. Oh, it's the girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Are here, you heavy kidding me with this bullshit? Too bad. I hate these things. I'm gonna pick up the auto gun for 1,200, and then I'm able to deck out completely. Deck out 
There three go. suits. That'll, that'll solve them. Perfect. And then I can get three helms. And then I can get some extra tonics, because I only have... I'm down to two. Two... Yeah, let's do it like that. Right, perfect. Got enough of everything else. Okay, here we go. So, let's equip this now. Guess you can't evade that one. There we go. We got that. Whew, I am so decked out. Beefy. Well, I mean, I just don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good feeling, man. It, it puts you so far behind, too. Yeah. Okay. When we're saved, then we're going to go down, downstairs and we'll do this. Okay, good. There we go. Went down below? Of course. You are so creeping up on me. Yeah. Yeah, even if you know the key combination to open that, you have to go through this process. Okay, let's go this way. There we go. Okay, rest. Oh, here it is. Next boss battle. Which, isn't there one that heals? Or, yeah, which is the heal bot? Are they both heal bots? I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know, let me fucking menu shit. <laughs> okay. All right, I, I'm, I'm going under the assumption that both can heal. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill one. No, don't attack him. No. No, not Delta Tech! No! Yee! That hurts! Oof! Oh, I'm gonna need Aura Wave. I'm gonna go with the Aura Wave so I can... Come on, Aura Whirl. Aura Whirl, let's go! Come on, quickly use it! And let's use Flame Toss on this one. Alright, so there we got Heal. We're healed now. Flame toss. That's dead. Okay, so now it can't use delta attack, which is good. So now let me start pounding it. And let's play a little conservative. One healer. I think you want to kill both of them. I think man. I do want to kill both of them. Because it, it, it counterattacks. For a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. 56. All right, I'll heal up real quick. But at least they can't, um... Delta attack. Still, that hurts. I need to heal myself again. You're just right on my tail. Yeah, hopefully I don't die on this boss. It's not <laughs> easy, man. And I yeah. have all the extra armor. I know. It'll be a bit of a struggle. Let's use it on Chrono. Attack that, attack that. Luke is gonna need it. That's okay. <laughs> God bless. Okay, good. Now let's unload because he brings them back, doesn't he? He does, yep. Five, there it is. Unload, unload, unload! <laughs> Just unload. I don't know what attacks I should use. I guess I could use... I'll use Fire Whirl. Fire Whirl on it. Let's see if that works. Nothing. Fire doesn't work on it. Good to know. And there it is. Okay, zero. Now it's back. Heal you. Heal. Or a world to heal up. And I guess just you hope for crits. Yeah. Because Cyclone single target does not do more damage, I don't think. Grit! Like to see that. True. There we go. Come on, blast this one. Blast it, blast it. Good, got it. 
Dane. Ah, nice, Anakin. crits. Nice crits, baby! Yeah, it's definitely... There's not a big benefit being first to a boss. <laughs> you were just like, okay, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Well, I know how to fight the boss. I just didn't remember that fire didn't work. So that was a handy. Oh, but now I fucked up. Here we go. Unload. It's all physical. Just all physical. Maybe maybe Cyclone works. Does Cyclone hit? Did you try it? No, because I didn't think it did more single target damage. than. Yeah, I don't think so attack. either. I'm going to look, but I doubt it. 80. Hmm, not really. I think it's about the same. It's got to beat it down. You're literally just beating it down. 66, but... Really not doing that much more damage than I am. No. Those levels don't make that much of a difference. No. Break down. Got it. Oh. I wonder if you'll get it this time. Oh, it's gonna be close. Come on now. Come it's on. It's gonna be now. close. It's gonna be close. There, you got it. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Caught up to me. Yeah, and not didn't die in the boss, so that was good. Yeah. You just have to know how to do the boss mechanics correctly. I've done this boss plenty of times. How many times have you done it? Eight. Eight? I've played Chrono Trigger quite a bit. Oh I, I went through a time period in like my late teens, early 20s, where I played through like all these you games huge, every year. You have a huge advantage on me. Well, yeah, that's what we said. I used to play these games and oh I my, beat them you every have a year. Serious advantage on me. No, there's no way. There's no way I'm gonna catch this rat. Shoot! Ah! Oh. I didn't talk to him. I didn't fucking talk to the guy. Ugh. Ugh. You were talking to me! Got him. Okay. Yeah, L and yeah. R, and then press A. Okay. Falling behind again. <laughs> Ten seconds behind. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Okay. Then it opens this up. Uh, I can yeah, probably they... get that. Missed it. Well, now I'm kind of curious if you can open it now. No, huh? No, okay. Doesn't matter. Alright, I'm just curious. Whack. Just beat her, beat him across the face with a bow. Bow whip. <laughs> Just hear our buttons clicking. Yeah, I mean, we're <laughs> trying to... It's, it's a bit of a race. It reminds me of our playing Final Fantasy right now. Is there ever a time where you don't click 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6? You're yeah. just... That global cooldown. Right. Oh, I don't want to go that way. Which way is faster? This way. Which I don't think this way is faster. Oh, wait, that's right. You move. Okay. There it is. Okay, let's just beat him up. It's over. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know I moved. It's fine. You were ahead of me now. Yeah, I knew the way through there. Did I? I didn't Gotta know. stick to the left side. Okay, that makes sense. Sitting here fighting rats. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's XP, man. I mean, I mean, I, I can say all I want that it's gonna come back to bite you. But is it really? <laughs> Probably. 
All right, so basically, um, we are well, looking for a gate to get I to home. Do. Yep. Um, and we find it that it's in this proto dome. So we want to head there, but then she finds this other button called Day of Lavos, or Historical Record of the Day of Lavos. Um, and we see that at some point in the past, 1999 AD, this creature emerged from the ground and rained destruction upon the planet. And that is what led to this apocalypse. And you can see, like, people are living in, like, bubble cities and stuff, so they were clearly pretty advanced. But Lavos wiped him out. And so now we get uh, the real plot of the game. Is Correct. That in the future, this creature will wipe out life as we know it. And we want to stop it. Because we can change history. <laughs> but uh, that's a big task. How do you stop this creature that's living underground? And literally this, comes this, up and just this, rains yeah, down this death. Apocalyptic monster of death and destruction. So we want to get back to our time period to do a bit more research and see if we can find out about this thing. I mean, this the visuals for this are just so great. Oh yeah, it's awesome. I'm a little bummed. Uh, I guess it's sort of a spoiler. You never like explore 1999. Yep. That would have been cool. Like, a, just a normal, futuristic place. True. But, hey, they had to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> oh. This, this can't be the way that the world ends, so we, we destroy him and then it ends up being that uh, a meteor hits five years after <laughs> it's, it's over anyway. Oh, to correct the timeline, because yeah. <laughs> the world has to end somehow. Yeah, right. That, I mean, that's Final a, destination. That's a theory, yeah. <laughs> But you can't really alter the timeline that much. Good. All right. Get out of here. Are you getting some leveling in? I pumped into a fucking rat. Yep. Proto 2. Do you want to call it before we go to the protodome? I was thinking of calling it at the end of time. Ooh, okay, we can do that. Two-hour two hour run, then, it'll be? Yeah. Okay. I feel like that's a really good stopping point. Yeah, that's fine. Okay with that, actually. But I can do the Protodome fairly quickly. You, maybe. It's gonna be rough. <laughs> well, so it's, it's not that long of a play. Well, no, 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 no. It's just that it's rough because it's hard to keep up with your ability to just, you know, when you've you've cruised through this so fast that I'm just kind of like dragging my knuckles here. Well, speed up. I'm trying, man. Alright, so to get to Protodome, um, you have to pass through this, this ruined city that's much bigger. And you can actually walk it. And I have done that, but we're not going to do that. Okay. Um, because that would be much slower. Uh, so instead, the old guy here gives you a key for his vehicle. That uh, so you could we have actually went down and just could we have just walked over there and just walked across? No. Do we actually have to do this? Because we didn't know. Okay. We needed the knowledge. You you have to view Lavos and. So here's the kicking ass vehicle. Uh, but as soon as you fire it up, you get accosted by these guys. But you don't fight them, even though you're about to. Because a uh, rather interesting figure shows up. I went I went the wrong the way man. out of here. I'm watching, I'm watching you. Yeah, the man. Johnny. Who is Wait, how do you get out of here? What am I doing? You'll okay, okay, out. okay, okay. This okay. way, this way. Johnny is a part tricycle, and he challenges you to a race. 
And what's weird is if you lose the race, you like go back to the yep. start. Yep. <laughs> Even though Doesn't you, let you, you traverse no, the distance, no, he, no, he you gotta drags drive your back. ass back. So it's a pretty simple race. He will stay neck and neck with you the entire time. There's nothing you can do. You do have a boost ability. You have three of them. Um, but you'll see if you boost, you immediately fall behind again. So all you need to do is right before the goal, you do the boost and you win. But you got to do it at the right moment. There you go. Simple stuff. And I remember as a kid just being like, oh, how the fuck do I beat Johnny? He's so fast. True. I can never get ahead. Which is the, the boost just, is, uh, I assume it's this one? No. It's, uh, oh. A. Oh, okay. And you can test one out if you're unsure. There we go. <sighs> All right. So that was that. Like I said, you can walk through. Uh, and there are items in there. So on a casual playthrough, you might be interested to do so. This is not casual. No, it's not. Got it. Easy. Yeah, you're slow. Yeah, you better believe it. I'll beat you anytime. Oh, you can't go in here yet, can you? Nope. Not meant to go. You're going to Protodome. Protodome. You will be going there soon, but not quite yet. <laughs> not gonna work, is it? They're not gonna get any closer. No, they won't. It's a slow fight. Okay, let's get this over with then. Bugger. Yep, that's a bugger. A little bugger. There we go, crit hit. Flabbered him. Bonus level up. Some Perfect. Much needed XP, I suppose. Yep. You're still hungry, though. Alright, so in Protodome, where you're supposed to find the gate, you instead find a locked door, with no, it's it's not powered on, you can't force it open, and you find a robot! And Luca, being the technical genius that she is, she can fix a fucking robot that was created, like, hundreds of years in her True. future. Um, which is pretty damn impressive. And now, you would think she really wouldn't even have that many tools or true. anything with her, but she does it. So now, do you get to choose who you take with you? Correct. So, power on the door, you have to go to that factory laboratory thing to the north. Uh, you gotta bring Chrono, you gotta bring Robo, but you can choose between Marl, Marl and Luca. So, do you want to take different, or you want to take the both? As if I think I assume that it's just. Well, which one do you prefer to take? I'll take Marl. Good, because I prefer Luca. But I think you're just gonna beat it even that much faster than because Luca's mm -hmm. DPS. Luca allows you to do Fire Whirl, which is very nice for the boss. So this is Robo, and uh, Robo's theme is very similar to uh, a certain piece of music. I think you're familiar with. For the what? Robo's theme? Yes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Rick rolling us. Yeah, it is Rick rolling us. <laughs> Rick Astley, big fan of Chrono Trigger. Actually, that song came first, didn't it? Yeah, I think so. So, they were big fans of Rick Astley, is the real answer. Don't you get a attack that's called Rocket Roll? <laughs> Maybe. You I actually it. mashed through that dialogue. You Luckily, did. Luckily, Luca was the top choice, but you want to be careful. A 
I should change his name to R66-Y. <laughs> that would be cruel. <laughs> Alright. So I like Robo as a character, but I almost never use him as part of my party. Really? Yeah, I don't know. He just I like never him. tends to impress me, probably because he's not—he doesn't have an element. Mm-hmm. And that's just for a lot of fights, it's just, it's just not good. No, I'll be honest with you. When I was playing through this, the times that I did play the, through this, I uh, who will stay behind? Luca, you're staying behind. Um, I mean, Isla doesn't have an element either, but her combos with Chrono are super good. Yes, Whereas... that's what I was going to say, is I tended to keep... I think when I played through, I think I picked all the element players, just so that I could do all the element combos. Yeah, the classic choice is Chrono, Marl, Luca. That, that's, I think, the, the most original. I think it's the most effective, because Marl has the most heals. Uh, yeah. And the, uh, the Antipode magic is really good. That's a real good dual technique. And Fire Ice Sword is really good. Are these only magic can hit these guys or acid? No, or? they just have high defense. Okay. Uh, it, I might end up going with Robo, though, because we're going to try to have very different parties. Robo's got heck of amount of HP. Look at that. 208. That's the idea. See, you know how to get through this, and I don't even know how to get through this. I somewhat remember how to get through this. Um, do you... Left or right? I went right. Okay. I can only tell you what I did. I'm gonna try and not gimp myself here. Yeah, so the benefit of bringing Mara along is that she has uh, a magic heal. Whereas I have to rely on Onyx. Um, uh, what is this? What is this? Oh, okay. You need... Okay, I, I see what I need to do. I need to power it. Mm-hmm. And then how do you... Am I doing... Uh, let's see. You're, like, following it exactly in my footsteps. Am I? Okay. <laughs> exactly the, what I did. So, uh, oh, actually, Robo starts with Cure Beam. I didn't remember that. So, we actually do have some options there. And Robo's not used in what the is... boss of this place, so we can use up his MP for that. Oh, okay, there it is. I... Okay, that makes sense. Oh, and I got thrown on here. Alright. To be fair, though, this could work out really well for me. I got a dedicated healer, and I got two high DPS. You have two healers. Alright, we learned Rocket Roll. There you go. Told ya. Rocket roll is... I can't remember what it looks like. Well, I'll do it. What that? It, it hits, hits everything. It hits everything on screen, which is your first ability that does that. Oh, there you go. I guess you have Hypno Wave too, but it's not really the same. Surprised you didn't do Flame Roll. But I guess you wanted to see Rocket Roll, it looks like. Well, so it hits everything. Flame Roll, Fire Roll, it wouldn't. And that's true. Come on, kill him! Come on now. Yeah, you're telling me it's slow fighting. Come on, you want? I'm gonna want to heal one more time. I mean, all things considered, we're pretty close. Yep. Neck and neck. A tonic chrono. Like a death on this boss would be catastrophic. Yep. Because you'd have to do this whole place over. Yeah. Laser spin, rocket roll. No, there's pro no, there's What's a What's laser point. spin? Well, that's his single version, which oh, I think okay. also hits everybody. Uh, okay, cure beam. Heals for 105. Very nice. Only 2 MP. Can't argue with that. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the cyclone. Fight. 
And then I'll do lasers. Oh, laser spin hits everything. You're right, you're right. Nice! Yeah, which when you have some positioning troubles, it's handy. Oh, that's a good hit. Stupid bugs! Yeah, stupid bugs. Jesus. Shoe fly! They're just called bug. Brilliant. Oof. Oh my god! Fall asleep on this fight, because they all get to do like eight actions. Okay, then I'll just keep Wait, that. what the fuck happened to Fire World? What happened to Fire World? Lucas sitting there, just sitting on her thumbs. We must get interrupted or something. Oh my god. This is like... This is atrocious. This fucking Fire World. Man, that is incre- What the heck? Come on, Fire World! <laughs> oh my god. That was a long time. Is Luca that slow in combat? No, it's something with these bugs that just do some fuckery. That's the only word for it. Yeah, well, enjoy the fuckery. Thanks. Well, what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna go with, um... I'm gonna go with Cyclone. Uh, don't you dare. Okay. And then what I'll go with, um, is... Oh, I killed them all. Okay. Oh, I don't remember the combo. Let's no. provoke. Fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. How do I not remember this? 100 gold. I... No, I didn't get it. Gold is... Oh, you're just gonna steal oh, it from me. Oh, hey, thanks, X man. X and BB. Thanks, man. And now I get caught. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure I helped you out with something. Can't remember what it would be. Oh, okay. There was something. <laughs> That's okay. It helps us do get faster. Through this. That would have taken me a while to figure out. Yep. <laughs> and hey, you never know, I could die to the boss. You would be just so screwed when if you died to the boss. Yeah, I haven't died to the boss in a long time. Because I think with Luca, it's pretty easy. Because isn't he weak to fire? He? It? Them? Them? Uh... I don't know if they're weak to it, but they take a lot of damage. It usually takes only two to kill him. Come on. Get out of my way. Get out of my way! A and BB. XA? I can't hear it. XA. What do you mean XA? XA. Oh, okay, you have it set up like that. Well, that's how an SNES controller is. Yeah. There you go. Forgot you have to enter it. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Bugger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's all go. these buggers. Get crit. Got it. I'm gonna get shelter at some point. I'm getting my XP. Don't worry. Of course, because you were ahead of me. <laughs> I mean, get it where you can. 
Of course, now I just get to watch where you run and follow you. Bolt sword. XABY. Yeah, that one I remembered. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't dare not do that because. Yeah, you might not. It might be like enter in the password, yeah. but I know what it is. But enter in the password. Right, and that's why I didn't want to tempt it. You're right on my heels. Yeah, better be. <laughs> no, why am I going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I was running up there. I might go outside and just do a use a shelter. Do you have to use a shelter before the boss? Yeah, there's a safe point. Okay, good. Then I'll just use a quick tonic. Why? You have healers. That and waste that. <laughs> I like the cheese with rocket roll and um, the other one. Okay, and what does Marl do? She just attacks. She's useless. So why not use her MP to heal? Hmm. Cyclone. There it is. Got it. And then laser spin. Perfect. Just trying to hit all these guys at once. Keep it going. There we go. Sword. Small upgrade as it is. Yup. Let me equip my Robin bow and then my bolt sword. Damn it, we have to kill this shit. Robin bow, I Eat can't. Eat my ass! Oh. There we go, go down here. Excellent. Let's use my shelter now. Item. Shelter. Tech. Go right away with. I think Slash will do the most. I Perfect. I can right. hit all three. Nope. Oh, but they dodged. They, they dodged, but it didn't matter. All, all three. All three. With Slash. <laughs> it's nice that I can be able to hit the weight. You know, they have the weight. Open hatch. Okay, cool. You kill them in one hit and I crit? Mm hmm. What the fuck? I'm high level. What I've the been fuck? I'm grinding. You died twice. <laughs> yeah, I know, but still. Look at my health. A crit. Oh, that didn't kill him in one hit. Okay. I, yeah, I guess. Maybe that was my crit. Are you sure? I don't know. I'll just slash. Get done with it. I want my MP. Here we go. There it is, a crit hit. Six. Oof. Gonna take a little bit. Oh, that's it. Two hits. God damn it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> More! I will use a slash on this though. Oh, avoided that one. Got use the Titan Vest. I sworn you get a fucking. Here it is. Hammer arm. Uh, uh, Titan Vest. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Hammer arm. Okay, Robo. Bend his MP. Good. Alright. Titan Vest. Hammer on. God. There we go. There we go. Come on. Big slash, big slash, big slash, big slash. Mmm.
Perfect. Uh, can I do a slap? Oh, three of them. There it is. Perfect. There we go. And then let's use a combo. Did laser spin work well or no? I did slash. Okay. Well, I couldn't hit them all. Well, that's a bummer, isn't it? It is a bummer. Um... It is a bummer. Thankfully, I hit so ridiculously hard. Doesn't take long. Plasma gun. Oh, there's a... Is that a crit? This guy is tough. Oof. Oof! Here. Not up. Oof. Ooh. Well, you could save again if you want. That's true. Alright, so yeah, just as a reminder that we came here to bring power to Protodome so we can open the door to get to the gate. Um, now that we've activated all the power, security is going nuts because we weren't supposed to do that. And, um,. Uh, the gate doors, big doors are shutting. Robo manages to save our asses from being trapped there for all eternity. The plasma gun. The elevators are no longer functioning. Take the ladder up. Got it. Can't and, hear it, uh, so it's hard for me to hear. Yeah. <laughs> and here we have the boss of this uh, laboratory. Which is six blue robots, similar in design to Robo. Um, I mean, they're not like assholes. They're just like following their programming, whereas Robo has gained uh, free will. Yeah. And so his purpose originally was to protect this place from intruders, but instead he let them in. So they gang up on him, beat the shit out of him, as robots do to their own. Um... And then that leaves Chrono and uh, his female partner to take him out. So I will be able to use Fire Whirl, which should kill each group of three in two goes. Uh, whereas Lego is going to have to stick with Cyclone. And Slash. Slash is not going to be your best bet. You don't think so? No, maybe you can hit three, like the top two and then the back one. But... I, Cyclone's gonna be more even for you. You can give it a try. I've never used Cyclone. As or I've never used Slash, because even with Marl I use Cyclone. But you can try it if you want. If you wanna risk your life. Right, I've got extra healing, which is obscene. Yeah. And since I'm not super high level, I'm going to have to take breaks to, to heal. But the faster we can kill for three of them, the... That is pretty OP. As soon as we kill lie. three of them, I mean, we pretty much have the fight in the bag. They hit hard, though. They hit hard, yeah. Just pounding them. That's why you really want to take care of three of them quickly. Oh my goodness, so drawn out. Hey, it's an emotional moment. And very emotional. I always felt really bad for Robo. True. You cocky boxes of bolts! Yeah! That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Okay, let's see what we can do with Slash. Um... See, I told you, it's not gonna be your best bet. You can only hit two of them. I'm gonna gamble... I mean, maybe it does a lot better damage. I'm gonna gamble that it can hit really hard. Alright, so I've taken out the first three with two Fire Whirls. Uh, 
two slashes will take out two of them. I wonder if just provoke do anything. On one of them. Let's try it again. Okay, got him. Okay, that does kill him. But it's not three. Not three. And now I've separated them. Shoot. Ugh. You're right, that wasn't the best. Stop it, you motherfuckers! Ugh. Oh my gosh. What an annoying attack. Alright, that should be it for me. <sighs> Ping pong me back and forth, huh? Done. Good job. Yep. Not too shit. Fire World is a lot nicer to have. That's why I tend to always pick Luca for this part. Because, I mean, you you certainly will have no problem winning. Yep. But in a race, especially. Yep. Not that this is really a race. So, we drag uh, Robo's mangled body back to Protodome. Because Luca fixed him once, she can fix him again, because she's a genius. Can't hit both of them. Okay, never mind, I'll just pound him. And you can see the door is open, because it's been powered on. And uh, we tell Robo that we're trying to save our, our world, our timeline, because of this nonsense that happened. And as part of his new free will, he... It's like, like, sure, He agrees to it. join us, yeah, because he really... He takes to, to Luca, especially. I enjoyed the gimmick when, when, when using the, a gate with more than three players. Right, so that's what we're going to see what happens. So far, we've only taken gates with one. Oh, wow. When you have it down to one, he literally uses a friggin' massive attack. I've never seen that. Oof. Another reason to have... <laughs> yeah. So, and then kill them all. Here we have gone into a gate with four individuals at the same time. And that leads to the end of time. What a... It's such a great character. Yeah. And so here we have uh, Gaspar, I believe is his name. Who is not... Um, I mean, he's not like God or anything. He's not like the God of time. He's no. just he's just here, and he knows uh, he knows more than we do about all this. Um, and so this basically is is their in-game reason why you can't have more than three people in your party at one time. Yeah. Um. So here you get to first pick your party. Do you get magic here? Or no? Yes. Okay. This is where you get magic. So... You want Marley, then? Yes, I'll have Marley. Marl. Marl. Whichever of the two. You have to have Chrono still, but you can choose between these other three. Um... And... There are a few things... Yeah, there's a, there's a bucket here. Restores your HP and MP. There's a save point. And then there's another bucket. And uh, that bucket will take you to the final boss. Yep. <laughs> if you were if you are interested in that, obviously that's suicide for us, so we're not going to do that. But it's an option. That's pretty cool that you're able to fight him whenever you want. Yeah. You can also fight him much earlier, I think. Isn't it? There's something with the pendant, I thought. I can't remember. If you when you go back to a thousand AD. If you go back in the original teleport, or something like that. There's another door here, which we'll check out next time. And then there's the uh, some portals that take you to different time periods. So 1,000, 600, and 2,300. But, uh, yeah. That's where we'll, uh, we'll leave it. We're, st we're at the same spot, so that's pretty good. That is pretty cool. We, Who uh, knows we, if you, we'll you be beat at, me here, but yeah. that's okay. Who knows if we'll be at the same spot next time, but yeah, we're pretty I, close. Yeah, it's within reason. 
And uh, I think this is pretty cool. I'm enjoying this. Uh, this is very fun. So, yeah. Hopefully we'll end up finishing the whole game. <laughs> it would be great because it'd be the first time in a long time that I beat this game. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. My name is Mang. And I'm Lego. This has been Chrono Trigger. And we'll see you fine folks next time.